what's up everybody this is sticks river bringing you another video and uh today i just i want to talk about n detaching from worldly things and not allowing worldly things to hold on and not allowing worldly things to be the root of your happiness now i feel like very few people fail to realize that First of all, your happiness should not come from these worldly things. Meaning that if you do not reach your goal of something physical, if you don't get $100,000, if you're not a six-figure earner, then you're not happy. You will only be happy if you receive this goal or you receive this amount of money. Or It's not It's not smart. You will never be happy then. Because the thing about it is that, yeah, you can get it today, but what happens if it goes away? Because you know there is a law of rhythm. All things that must that rise must fall right so that means that you're gonna have troubling times so does that mean when you're having troubling times you're just not gonna allow yourself to be happy or if you don't get what you want physically you're just not gonna be happy are you only happy when your bills are paid right that's not true happiness then because your happiness is connected to something physical and something physical can always leave that's why you're not supposed to be attached to the physical right you're not supposed to be attached to a video game you're not supposed to be attached to a movie because guess what it is out of your control right the only thing you have control over is your spiritual journey, right? And when I say control, meaning that you know if you're going to ascend or descend because you have control of that, right? So the only thing that gives me a sense of fulfillment is my spiritual journey because that is something that can continue to grow. That is something that can never be stripped away from me. My knowledge, you know what I'm saying? My wisdom, you know? But the moment you start to put your happiness on outside things, you start to just become so connected to this physical that... You can't even rise out of the physical because you're so attached to it. Like, think about it. Imagine if I wanted to take you out of this house to put you into a mansion. You're so attached to this house. You're so attached to this that you're not allowing me to take you somewhere else. You get what I'm saying? So it's really important that people, y'all got to stop being so attached to monetary shit, bro. Like, it's so sad how how I be seeing people who, like, like for example, like, you only happy when you when your IG popping. So when your IG isn't as popping, now you depressed. Now you feel like you ain't nobody, right? Right? Now you feel like that, right? When it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. You should be happy with yourself, confident in yourself, no matter what. Because at the end of the day, you can't control if other people like your Instagram picture. Some people just don't like you. And then sometimes Instagram just not putting your stuff out there. So you're going to really base your happiness off of something you can't control? Come on now, you're setting yourself for madness. My guy, you're setting yourself for madness. Like, you know, stop seeking physical things for your happiness because the moment that that physical thing isn't there, now you're sad. Like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You will forever be unhappy. And what I'm trying to teach y'all is where does real contentment, where does real peace come from? Where does it really come from? You know where it comes from? It comes from inside of here, inside of that soul. Because guess what? That soul can never leave you unless you give it away. You know what I mean? That soul will always be there for you. That soul can go in any other body. Like, don't be attached to this body. Because eventually, what is this body? This body is going to diminish. <laughs> this body is going to be in the ground one day. Right? So... As long as, as long as you focus on keeping that that inner core, that inner self strong, full, filled with growth, you set, you're set. But the moment you start to be like, oh, but like I just, I just, I gotta reach my goals, or I'm not happy. I just gotta, like, bro, chill. Remember, your goals don't mean it don't matter. It really don't matter. They matter to you, right? But in the grand scheme of life, they don't matter, right? You know what matters? nothing but except like the only thing that i can say that actually may matter is just spiritual enlightenment growth that's all that matter because guess what spiritual enlightenment and growth will stop you from reincarnating back on this freaking world <laughs> that's the, the i'm telling you i'm telling you so make sure y'all take this time to really be present and stop focusing on outward things that you can't control. Your happiness comes from within. A lot of y'all need to learn how to let go truly and honestly. If something is not worth your time, why bother? Why bother? A lot of these people that bother you and annoy you, they don't know what they're really doing. They don't understand. You know, so you might as well just 
let it go you know ignorant people will be ignorant people kids will be kids just let it be you know but i just want to say make sure you guys go ahead and um like oh make sure you guys check out my crystal shop we sell shungite we sell organite we sell organite right i'm also sponsored by vance global so make sure you guys go ahead and check out vance global cbd that's vanceglobal.com also make sure you guys check out my project seven y'all go ahead follow subscribe like and comment i appreciate you all you know what i'm saying i appreciate you all and uh yeah man just do what you gotta do to be great bro like it's just not enough people are putting in the work to to be great not enough people are putting in the work to you know get themselves to that next level spiritually Spiritually, because at the end of the day, spirituality is what creates this physicality. Spirituality is what creates this physicality. Like, as long as you know spiritually that you are abundant, then physically, what, what, you know what I'm saying? This, this spiritual, this astral is what creates this physical realm. That's why it's like, why are you being attached to the creation and not what creates? You know what I mean? It's like being attached to the t-shirts that's getting made instead of being attached to the actual machine that makes it you know what i mean so it's like being attached to the church but not being attached to the actual universe um i just i just be saying bro i'm just i'm just saying y'all i gotta do better bro y'all gotta do better bro y'all gotta do better to express yourselves in a spiritual way meaning like if y'all having negative emotions use that negative emotion to drive your creativity drive your creativity you know i be seeing people be having like lustful thoughts or they have anger like look at kobe bryant kobe bryant literally uses his anger to fuel his art which is basketball he used that anger and channeled that anger that anger and became a beast on the court right so i'm learning that now and i'm channeling all my negative emotions all the emotions that i consider negative or emotions that i don't want to feel i channeled them in my art and it makes my art so much better. It makes my art so much better. Now you over here feeling like you're like, dang, I feel what sticks. Yeah, because sticks have feelings in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, what can I say, man? You just, you just got to detach. <laughs> you just got to detach and just live your life, bruh. Just enjoy the moment. Stop having expectations. Expectations will ruin things for you. Expectations will ruin things for you. So be free. I love you all. And I am out. Make sure you like, you like comment, and subscribe.